welcome students today's topic is about egg structure composition and preservation the main topics include to give brief introduction about an egg to give introduction about the structure of an egg to acquaint students about the composition of an egg to let students know briefly about causes of deterioration of an egg to acquaint students about the preservation techniques by which quality of eggs can be maintained eggs are external reproductive structures within shells produced by females of certain animals such as birds nature has created eggs for the multiplication of species but man has exploited it as a source of a food the eggs of various birds like hens duck geese turkey etc are consumed throughout the world but the eggs produced by hens are of a major economic importance eggs have been a human food since ancient times They are one of nature's nearly perfect protein foods and have high quality nutrients. Eggs are readily digested and can provide a significant portion of nutrients required daily for growth and maintenance of body tissues. They are utilized in many ways both in the food industry and at the home. Structure of an egg. The avian egg is a complex and highly differentiated reproductive cell. An egg consists of a shell, membrane, white or albumin and yolk. and its structure can be seen with the naked eye or a lens these are discussed as under for the hen egg number first is shell the egg is surrounded by a 0.2 to 0.4 mm thick calcareous and a porous shell it contributes about 18% weight of an whole egg it's composed of 94% calcium carbonate 1% calcium phosphate 1% magnesium carbonate and 4% organic matrix mainly protein A transverse section through the shell clearly shows the existence of four layers namely cuticle, spongy layer, mammillary layer and outer shell membrane. Cuticle is commonly known as bloom. It's a thin almost of 10 micrometer outermost layer consisting mainly of mucilaginous protein layer. The cuticle blocks the pores and protects the egg against outside contamination entering the egg. The spongy layer constitutes greater part of shell. This layer is actually very compact and it's traversed by numerous microscopic channels. Mammillary layer is the innermost layer of shell adjacent to outer shell membrane. It's composed of numerous roughly conical knobs or mammillae which are oval to circular in cross section. The mammillae are arranged in such a way that it creates spaces or pores within the shell. Number second is egg membranes. The inside of the shell is lined with two closely adhering membranes usually of 48 and 22 micrometer respectively. These are made up of an interwoven network of a protein polysaccharide fibers. One of the most important membrane is attached to the shell while the other is not and it moves within the egg contents during the separation. Number 3 is albumin. It's commonly known as egg white. Albumin is a aqueous solution up to 10% of different proteins besides proteins other components are present in lower amounts albumin is a seroplastic fluid its viscosity depends on shearing force it consists of four concentric layers the very firm but very thin claziferous layer immediately surrounds the yolk and is a continuous within the claza it forms about 3% of egg white Claza are dense cord-like strands mostly mucin on each side of the yolk. These strands anchor the yolk near the center of the egg but allow the yolk to revolve. The color of yolk varies depending on the feeding schedule and pigments in the feed of hen. The center of yolk is called latebra. Germinal disc or blastoderm is present on the surface of yolk on the latebra neck. The yolk is enclosed by a semipermeable membrane known as vitelline membrane. It's about 0.025 mm thick and is colorless. Now the next topic is about composition of an egg. An average hen egg weighs about 57 grams which includes the weight of white, yolk and shell. Egg white or albumin The egg white while known as the albumin comprises approximately of 58% of the weight of an egg despite its simple appearance egg white is a complex mixture of different proteins proteins has a different structure and generally they each have a specific functions it includes number first is ova albumin ova albumin is the main albumin protein It's a glycophosphoprotein with 3.2% carbohydrates and 0 to 2 moles of serine-bound phosphoric acid per mole of protein. 
Ovalbumin consists of a peptide chain with about 385 amino acid residues. Ovalbumin is relatively readily denatured, for example, by shaking or whipping its aqueous solution. Number second is ovamucoide. Ovamucoide is a glycoprotein. The carbohydrate moiety consists of three oligosaccharide units bound to protein through asparagine residues. The protein has nine disulfide bonds and therefore stability against heat coagulation. It can be isolated from the supernatants of heat coagulated albumin solutions and then precipitated by ethanol or acetone. Ovamucoide inhibits bovine but not human trypsin activities. Number third is lysozyme, it's commonly known as ovaglobulin G1 protein. Lysozyme consists of a peptide chain with 129 amino acid residues and four disulfide bonds. Widely distributed and it's found not only in egg white but in animal tissues and excretions. This protein is an acetyl muramidase enzyme that hydrolyzes the cell walls that are composed of murine of gram positive bacteria. Number fourth is ovaglobulins, which include G2 and G3 proteins. These proteins are good foam builders. Number fifth is ovamucin. It's a glycoprotein and has been separated into a low carbohydrate fraction and a high carbohydrate fraction. It can be apparently form fibril structures and thus contribute to a rise in viscosity of albumin, particularly of the thick egg white where it occurs in a four-fold higher concentration than in fractions of thin albumin. It forms a water-insoluble complex with lysozyme. The dissociation of complex is pH dependent. Probably it's of importance in connection with the thinning of egg white during storage of eggs. Number six is flavoprotein. The flavoprotein is acidic with a molecular weight of about 32 to 36 kilodaltons and contains a carbohydrate moiety of about 14% that is made up of mannose, galactose and glucosa amines. 78 phosphate groups and 8 disulfide bonds. It ensures transfer of the riboflavin from blood serum to the albumin in egg white. Number 7 is OVA inhibitor. This protein like ovamucoid is a proteinase inhibitor. It inhibits the activities of trypsin, chymotrypsin and some proteinases of microbial origin and it acts as a defense against microbial invasion. Number 8 is Evidin. Evidin is a basic glycoprotein and it's a tetramer consisting of four identical subunits, each of which binds one mole of biotin. Evidin is irreversibly denatured at a temperature of 70 degrees centigrade, but the evidin biotin complex is stable up to 100 degrees centigrade. Other constituents of egg white includes lipids. The lipid content of egg white is negligible and it comprises of 0.03%. Next is carbohydrates. Carbohydrates comprise about 1% of egg white. These are partly bound to protein approximately 0.5% and partly free up to 0.4 to 0.5%. Free carbohydrates include glucose up to 98% and mannose galactose, arabinose, xylose, ribose, deoxyribose, totaling about 0.2 to 2 mg per 100 gram of egg white. There are no free oligosaccharides or polysaccharides. Next is minerals. Minerals comprise of about 0.6% of egg white. Next is vitamins. Whole egg contains both fat and water-soluble vitamins. Fat-soluble vitamins include A, D, E, K that are found in yolk. Only while water-soluble vitamins like B complex are found in both yolk and white of egg. However, vitamin C is not found in egg. Next is egg yolk. Egg yolk is fat and water emulsion with about 50% dry weight matter. The principal constituents of egg yolk solids are 65% lipids. 31% proteins and 4% carbohydrates, vitamins and minerals. Yolk contains particles of varying size that can be divided into two groups via yolk droplets and granules. Yolk droplets are of variable size. They have diameter in the range of about 20 to 40 micrometer. They resemble fat droplets, consist mostly of lipids and have protein membranes. They are a mixture of lipoproteins with a low density lipids. Methods of preservation of eggs As soon as the egg is laid, the deteriorative chains start taking place which pose a danger to the sensory attributes. The quality of egg is the highest at the time of laying. Any subsequent preservative effort is used to reduce the deteriorative chains. The diffusion of carbon dioxide through the pores of the shell 
which starts soon after the egg is laid, cause a sharp rise in pH, especially in egg white, from about 7.6 to 9.6. The yolk is compact and upright in a fresh egg, but it flattens during storage. This may be due to the migration of moisture from egg white to yolk. In extreme cases, the vitaline membrane may tear due to the increased pressure on the contents inside. During storage, microbial contamination may also occur most commonly by Salmonella species that may penetrate through the eggshell and deteriorate its flavor. Chains are increased when the shell has heavy contamination as it overcomes inbuilt defense mechanism of the egg. Principles of preservation of egg Some principles related to preservation of eggs are Minimizing loss of carbon dioxide and water by storing at 7 to 8 degrees centigrade and a relative humidity of about 85%. Minimizing mishandling. Maintaining of shell cleanliness. Now methods of preservation. Old-fashioned methods. Before the invention of refrigerator, freezers, farmers devised some simple means of preserving their excess eggs. Some farmers relied solely on the use of salt to keep their eggs from rotting. After gathering their eggs, they packed them in a large barrel or crock with plenty of salt and stored them in a cellar or spring house to keep them cool. The majority, however, found some way to clog up the pores of egg shells so that moisture would not escape and air could not enter. Eggs were rubbed with grease, zinc or boric ointment or submerged in a solution of lime, salt, cream of tartar and water. Probably the most popular way to seal egg shells was to water glass them. By this method, a chemical commonly known as sodium silicate was mixed with water and poured in a crock which was filled with eggs that were about 12 hours old. The sodium silicate would clog the pores in the shells and make them airtight. Next is refrigeration. The best method of preserving whole shell on eggs is refrigeration that is from 0 to 3 degrees centigrade in a well sealed container. A temperature of 0 degrees centigrade and a relative humidity of 80 to 90 percent is recommended to preserve them for 5 to 8 months. Store unwashed eggs towards the bottom of the refrigerator away from the door to avoid the warm air from frequent openings and closings. Next is dipping eggs in oil. Dipping eggs in oil is very satisfactory method. The oil should be free from odor but does not need to be colorless. It should be of a light grade. Light mineral oil is a very good oil to use. Oil preserved eggs, just like water glass, have the advantage of allowing the eggs to be kept in cartons or cases. The temperature of oil should be in a range of about 15 to 30 degrees centigrade for ideal results. They should be allowed to drain for a few minutes on a rack. They are placed in case with small end down to protect the air cell in the large end. Next is chemical coating. Deterioration of egg albumin, quality and loss of weight of eggs during storage can be retarded by storing at low temperature under special conditions or by coating the eggs. Polydimethyl silicooxane fluids may be used. Next is lime method. A liter of boiling water is added to 1 kg of quick lime and allowed to cool. Then 5 liters of water are added to it. The solution is then strained through a fine cloth when the mixture settles down. Eggs are then dipped in a clear fluid overnight or up to 14 to 16 hours and then dried at room temperature and stored for about 3 to 4 weeks. The lime being alkaline prevents the growth of microorganisms. Such eggs have prolonged storage time. Next is thermostabilization. This method of preservation involves stabilization of albumin quality by holding the eggs in an oil bath maintained at a temperature of about 55 degrees centigrade for 15 minutes or up to 58 degrees centigrade for 10 minutes. This process brings about coagulation of thin albumin just below the shell membranes thereby blocking the passage of air and moisture. Next is modified atmospheric packaging or gas method. Modified atmospheric packaging of eggs in plastic bags can be done with nitrogen and carbon dioxide in a ratio of 94 is to 6 in closed boxes. It prevents loss of carbon dioxide. Next is freezing. Freezing is an efficient method of long-term storage of liquid broken eggs. Do not freeze whole eggs in the shell as this shell may burst due to expansion during freezing. To freeze whole eggs, 
Whisk the eggs together until blended. Freeze in airtight containers or to save space, freeze in small snack size or quart size resealable plastic bags and lay flat in freezer until frozen. Next is dehydrating. Eggs are broken, shell and membranes are separated and liquid eggs are preserved by drying the egg contents that is egg white and egg yolk. This reduces the bulk of eggs and helps in easy transportation and storage. Liquid eggs may become contaminated with pathogenic and spoilage microorganisms that may multiply under improper holding conditions and may survive in uncooked and partially cooked foods. Therefore, egg products are pasteurized under conditions that destroy salmonella besides reducing spoilage microorganisms. Liquid whole eggs have been pasteurized at a temperature of about 60 to 61 degrees centigrade for about 3 to 5 minutes without affecting the functionality of eggs. After pasteurization, desugaring is performed to remove traces of glucose of about 0.5% to prevent browning due to Maillard's reaction. Glucose can be removed by three methods that is controlled bacterial fermentation using cultures of streptococcus yeast fermentation using Saccharomyces and the enzyme fermentation using glucose oxidase and catalase. Next is pickling. Egg pickling is an old time technique that is used for preserving hard cooked eggs in a vinegar brine solution. They are making a comeback due to the increased use of pickled condiments in restaurants and interest in easy home pickling. Pickled eggs should be stored in refrigerator. It's not recommended that pickled eggs can be canned. Next method is Briggs method that is commonly known as CFTRI method. It was practiced by ancient Chinese. Brick powder and salt were mixed in a ratio of 2 is to 1 to which water was added and then it was kneaded. Eggs were kept in pan and covered with brick salt dough. It was kept for 10 days and then washed. This increased storage quality of eggs. Next method is Reinhardt method. The Reinhardt method is said to cause such a chemical change in the surface of eggshell that's closed up perfectly airtight and admittance of air is entirely excluded, even in case of long continued storage. The eggs are for a short time exposed to the direct action of sulfuric acid, whereby the surface of the eggshell, which consists chiefly of lime carbonate that is transformed into lime sulfate. The dense texture of the surface thus produced forms a complete protection against the excess of the outside air which admits of storing eggs for a very long time without the contents of eggs suffering any disadvantageous changes regarding taste and odor. The only disadvantage of this method is that sulfuric acid is a dangerous poison that might on occasion penetrate the shell. With this we conclude today's topic. Hope you understood well. Thank you.